our lovely lunch. We are back on the road and we are going to see pepper plantations. <laughs> Google map has fucked us again again this same shit happened in Korong I will show you and now it's happened again we are stuck in the middle of nowhere because Google map says that this road goes straight 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 and it goes to nowhere nowhere After getting a sunburn, we're gonna see how this is made. This is called pepper, or for Indians, it's called Kali Mirch. Hello, I'm Jasmine. <laughs> pepper, which is the most common pepper, and it's um, yeah. And this is all grown here. Yeah, it's all grown here. White, white, white red, and black. Yeah. White pepper, red pepper, black pepper, beer. <laughs> Very interesting is that we get all these four different colors from one plant. Okay. So it's not a different variety, it's a different stage of ripeness. Mm. Okay. Here you see the green berries and the red berries. The red berries or the red peppercorns are the ripe ones and the green are not mature yet. So you usually start harvesting when a quarter of the sponge is um, turned red. Okay. So when at least a quarter is very ripe. You start mm. harvesting normal pepper, but they say that the Kampot region is able to produce a very fine and very very high quality pepper. And um, this is uh, the province of Kampot. Mm -hmm. The green one here is uh, Cap, mm -hmm. which was us usually part of the province of Kampot, but since a couple of years it's a, they have their own province. But the pepper growing here is still called Kampot pepper because okay. it's just the name. Mm. Yeah would be weird to have two different names for the same product and um, yeah there's pepper since 12,095 in Cambodia there were some Chinese guys traveling through and they wrote down okay there's pepper in Cambodia mm -hmm. then we have hundreds of years where there are no documents and evidences of um, yeah pepper being produced until the French came and they they found some pepper plants somewhere around here in the Bay of Cap and um, they sent it home to see what is it and they said yeah it's pepper but it's really really good pepper so they supported the, the grow, growing of pepper in this region and um, they found out that in some regions the pepper is very very good and um, has full aromas and mm -hmm. it seemed to be very 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 nice whereas in other region where the same climate was like for example here or there it wasn't as good it was mm. still pepper but not that good as in some other regions and then they made some soil analysis recently all over Cambodia and they realized that um, in all the area that it's red here or green that um, they have a special soil type there which contains mainly this quartz mineral mm -hmm. Ah, the quartz To this fact of the very special soil type the Kapat pepper is the first Cambodian product who has a protected geographical indication like mm. you have it for prosciutto di parma or parmesan or camembert it's the same you can always grow pepper but you can never call it camembert pepper mm. so it's a protected label but look at the yeah. pepper plants in the plantation yeah let's go oh fuck that that is small in the picture it looks like so big yeah but there are bigger ones too yeah like this one is big yeah so as you can see pepper is a a wine so it needs something to climb on pepper is a wine yeah like Oh, it's a plant that needs something to climb around. Yes, it's from India originally. So <laughs> there it grows on real trees. 
A good thing about Pepper is as they climb up on the pole and when the pole ends mm -hmm. they won't they won't, they won't uh, grow, grow further, further. Okay. because they always need something to hold on to so you don't have to prune anything <laughs> like my ex-girlfriend <laughs> okay. stages of development on the same okay, that's plant. a pepper flower yes yeah sometimes you can already find some red berries but it's still very early so normally we harvest march april and may they have to separate the colors so they separate okay. the green from the red ones and oh it's like pizza <laughs> long pepper. Yeah. yeah. Okay, guys. Long this is still pepper. pepper. Long pepper. So this is like you make a greenhouse effect here. Yeah. So that's how you dry the pepper. Once it's dry, you have to sort it mm -hmm. because sometimes if you have the red berries, some of them will turn black because they're okay. not hundred percent ripe. They still behave like a green, behave like a green okay. berry. So you have some black berries and the red berries, and you also have a lot of blackberries that are not really black. You need a lot of patience for that. Yeah. And, um, they, they do it by hand, one by one? Yes, they sort it by the size. So the smaller basket has bigger holes where the very small corns fall through and the bigger one. And then they sort it by hand um, if they find black ones that are too gray or too brown. Mm -hmm. and so not black enough. Yeah, they put it away and they sell it to the local restaurants mm -hmm. for a bit cheaper because it's still a very good pepper, it just doesn't look nice. Mm. So it's not the A-grade pepper. Mm -hmm. yeah.